click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi friends, so far we have discussed about the diode circuits, the types of diode, types of breakdown and so many numericals of diode circuits and of course applications of diode circuits. So now in this particular video we will start the new chapter that is including bipolar junction transistor. So in this video lecture we will learn the introductory part of bipolar junction transistor obviously three questions why BJT, what BJT and how BJT. See guys, so far we have discussed about the PN junction diode. So with the PN junction diode basics, we will move towards the bipolar junction transistor. First of all, we will learn the word bipolar junction and transistor. So we'll go one by one. First word is bipolar. Bipolar means we have, we have two charge carriers one is of positively charged and one is of negatively charged so two charge carriers which are responsible for the conduction process and that's why the name is bipolar bi means two polar which shows the polarity of the charge carrier so two polarity charge carrier one is positively charged carriers and another is negatively charged carriers junction transistor the word junction tells you that without junction anything is impossible in your silicon world so even though above above bjt even though if you are going for mosfet even though we are going for fets field effect transistor there also a junction will get formed due to that junction transfer of the charge carriers will happen and this is how the conduction process gets started and the junction tells you that we have two junction one is c b junction and another is e b junction right so two junction which forms the junction as same as that of junction in your diode due to the two different types of the extrinsic semiconductor material next part is transistor this word has a meaning transfer of resistance so this transistor is nothing but this resistance is different for different part of bjt this bjt is now we will go to the construction of bjt then we'll get to know that bjt is having emitter base and collector let us go for the construction of bjt basically this bjt form that we'll learn first and then we'll move for the construction symbol everything mathematic and everything first of all i know the diode right diode se bhi pehle, we have learned extrinsic semiconductor right so extrinsic semiconductor matlab kya p, p type material and n type material right one girl one boy meet together shadi ho gaya ban gaya diode right so that complete P N junction diode is nothing but a family now I want to enhance that family right so when I try to enhance that family when one diode is meeting with another diode that will form the one family of two diodes that will form the BJT so let us understand the fact that first of all we had we have P type material another material is n type and then with that we proceed further for diode so here we have formed the diode where junction was playing the vital role in the operation of pn junction diode this is p and this is n okay fine so far so well this is diode 
right here these are nothing but the extrinsic semiconductor and after that we will form these two diodes one is from p to n side and another is from n to p side so that will form the another material ka device that is b j t where one is emitter another is collector and the middle sandwiched part is nothing but base so this is emitter this is collector and this is base we will learn one by one obviously this can be p n one diode and n p another diode so two two diode back to back will form your bjt right so here symbolically representation with diode i will say this is one diode and this is another diode which will give you the bjt we will separately learn the symbolic representation of the bjt okay fine so far so well about the bjt kaise form hua this is how the junction is getting formed this is called as eb junction emitter and base ke beech mein jo kuch junction form hota hai that is called as eb junction and whatever junction i will be getting in collector and base that is called as cb junction okay now with that junction and obviously minority and majority charge carrier in n region and p region is entirely different so both majority charge carriers are responsible for the process of conduction that's why the word is bipolar let us move in the next slide about the symbolic representation of bjt bjt basically of two types one is n p n right whereas another is p n p we generally use npn transistor rather than pnp transistor this is favorite question of viva external examiner npn transistor mein what will be the majority charge carrier in both emitter as well as collector region yes electrons and as the electrons mobility is higher than that of holes we will be we, we will be getting as the mobility of the electron is higher than that of holes we will be getting the higher conduction more conduction in npn rather than pnp and that's why we are preferring pnp and npn transistor and that's why we are preferring npn transistor than that of pnp transistor this is favorite viva question keep this in mind okay again come to the point that bjt types npn and pnp we will have separate symbolic representation for the bjt here i will draw that separate symbolic representation this is your collector region this is your base region and this is emitter region where the arrow represents the direction of the current this particular symbol is for n p n b j t now we will not call bipolar junction transistor as a whole we will call this with pyar bjt right pyar se bolenge bjt npn bjt now in with pnp bjt we will be having symbolic representation so this symbolic representation may we have to give the exactly opposite direction for the arrow we will represent arrow in this direction 
This is because we are having different type of semiconductor material in emitter, base and collector. This is P, N, P, BJT. This is collector, this is emitter and this is base. So as the holes are moving from emitter to collector, holes are nothing but with the align with the direction of the conventional flow of current. So current also will flow from emitter base to collector. So this is how we will be having the direction is towards the base. Now coming again to the part of symbolic representation and its meaning. As the bipolar junction transistor is of three terminal device, collector, base and emitter, this basically, this particular line represents, it is having the junction with base and collector, base and emitter. So this line represents the junction. Okay, this line represents the junction. And arrow represents the direction of current okay so as far as symbolic representation of BJT types is concerned we are cleared with the symbolic representation now coming to the practical things of the BJT we will be having two BJTs in your syllabus the BJT numbers one is BC 547A and another is BC547B. BC547A which is giving the gain which is less than 100 and BC547B which is giving gain which is greater than 100. What is gain we will learn in the next upcoming video soon so stay tuned for that. Right now we just have learned about the BJT introduction and then now in the next upcoming videos we will learn working and construction of the videos as well so stay tuned for that learn more and more edc along with me along with ekda videos thank you so much